Well, it looks like no contact from Shen. Seems like it's about time that you start investigating for yourself. Nine people were staying at the Shinochu. Shinochu? That sounds super wrong, but well, a uh, mountain lodge that day. You, Shin, Tomo, Mind, and Sawa were all together, and then there were two other guys, Inky and Kent. The last two were a guy and a girl. The guy was Yukio. You, you, I almost said Yukio. It was Yukio, and he was dueling people with his cards. I mean, it was he was the worst guy ever. No, no address. The other girl was Rika, a college student. Tim, doesn't matter who you go to first, but maybe you should start with the girls, and you could maybe disguise it as girl talk? You can say you're gonna go shopping for shoes. The only girl left that you haven't met is Rika, the fourth year college student. Looks like there's an address and a phone number and the information that you got from the owner. You should give her a call and see if you can meet up somewhere. I feel that she would be super suspect. She'd be like, who, who, who gave you my number? Like, why? I just, I hope she's an honest person. Me too. One hour later. Now we're gonna have to scum this so hard. So, boop. Yeah, okay. All right. We were lucky that you were able to arrange a meeting, but it's not like we'd know what she looks like even if she does show up. I know she was all, I'm sure you'll remember me when you see me, but people say that all the time and then you don't even remember their name. I mean, you have amnesia. That's way different from forgetting someone you just met once, right? I wonder if you'll be okay. Maybe she's already here and you just don't recognize her. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear. My sincerest apologies to both the- That's a terrible voice. I'm gonna ruin it. It doesn't matter. My sincerest apologies for the way to Yuki. Wait, wait. This is that super elegant girl? Oh god. Oh, she's so fabulous. Well, I'm Rika. Nice to see you again. Again? Wait, what? What? Hey, that, if we were at the lodge, that was the first time meeting you, how are we meeting you again? That makes no sense, my lady. Ah, a memory. So, seeing her was enough. Did some of your memories just come back? I'm definitely surprised. I thought she'd be... Though she'd be pretty hard to forget. I'll say. It appears that your injury is one to too serious. At the time of the accident, I was assuming you would die. You shouldn't assume things like that. It's kind of freaking rude. Susan, what is it that you needed? I actually have a meeting to attend. So if you wouldn't mind making it quick. And a meeting do you have to be at? Why'd you even agree to meet us? <laughs> Whatever. Alright, let's keep it brief. I'm worried about the love triangle thing the owner mentioned, and the most important thing is about Shen. If you were to ask weirdly, she might start to suspect Shen, or assume he's single and try to go after him, and I mean, not that I want that being Orion, but I'm sure you don't want that. <laughs> You know what? No, we're gonna stay here. There we go. How was Shin feeling that day? Who searched for me? We all, we already know who searched for me. Cause that's stupid. Well, I'm not sure what to say. Shin was so calm. It was almost frightening. 
I knew it. Outsiders like myself weren't very upset. I mean, I didn't even know you. Although the people who were clearly the most shocked were your friends, Tomo and Sawa. Shit was so calm, it almost seemed as if he planned to have you fall from the first place. <gasps> what? Was it that bad? Anyway, why do you ask? The events of that tonight are already in the past, are they not? I was under the impression that the authorities had declared it an accident. Why do you feel the need to bring this up again? Hmm. Should you mention Shen? Shen is still a suspect. Dots. I don't know. We're just going with, with the next... <laughs> with the answers that we haven't been with. Shin's still a suspect. Now, who is he? I understand. With that arrogant attitude, I imagine the police didn't care much for him. You are so smug. You know what? Your hat? Last season. There you go. You're welcome. Yeah, to be completely honest, I think she's right. I hope he suffers in hell for all those rude remarks he made to me during the trip. Oh god, she is insane. That is a creepy look. What? I've never seen. Why are her eyes so... It's so creepy. I just went to two different, like, sentences because it threw me off. Uh, um... Oh, right. It seemed that Tomo and Sawa were trying to distance themselves from his, him as well. I wouldn't be surprised if his crazy jealousy turned into murder, says the girl who just got, like, the super creep face on. No way! Regardless, that idiot Kent wouldn't know most of the events from that evening. What? Huge idiot! Kent was leading the search team that night after all. That man was monopolizing all of Inky's time, and the boss was. and he was bossing us around. If you find the need to question him, you can find him in the math lab here on Wednesdays. That's about all I know, so if you'll excuse me. Sure, that's enough, right? It doesn't seem like she knows too much, except for being really scary. Oh, good day. That was a super intense girl. But she did mention Inky and Kent a lot. I mean, it kind of seems like she wanted to date that one guy. It looks like we'll have to go to them for some more information. Wednesdays, not until the day after tomorrow. You'll have the day off from work, so we should come back then. I want to do something about your memories, but... You're making progress all the same. I don't feel like I'm separating from you at all. Maybe there's something really important sealed away, and that's what's binding me to you. In that case, the only option is to keep learning more, little by little, until we can solve this thing. And to do that, you're going to need to keep getting closer to the truth. Oh god, she's so creepy. What if... This is the theory. What if Orion saw us, like, talking to Shin on the mountain, and then he was like, Oh man, he's uber hot. <laughs> like, crashed into you just so you could be like, I'm gonna take you over so I can date him. That would be hilarious. Welcome back, Master. May I take your order? Ugh. Can't we just calm down? We really need to go ask that guy Kent for some answers. I wonder what Shin's doing. I mean, we haven't seen him in a few days. Why hasn't he contacted you? I wonder if he's okay. I just... I want to look at his face. Let's... Let's be real. We all know, we all know this is a dating sim for Orion. This isn't the time to be lavishing attention on strangers. Ugh. Do you want tea? Do you want cake? Do you want fancy tea? I want all of those things.
Hey, nice work, but you seem low on energy. Oh, it's Sawa. I guess she noticed. Do you want to go have some tea somewhere? I think it's better than being alone. Oh, well, that would be so nice, Yuki. I think you should relax once in a while. Oh, darn, it looks like you got to her first, because I was, like, so thinking about walking her home. Uh, you too, Tomo? Hmm, maybe I'm just getting in the way. Why would you say that? Oh, no. No, no. Let's see, this is that girl. So we, we got her answer saved. Um, no, no. No, you're not, Sawa. I'd be happy to go. That's alright, I'd like to walk home with Tomo. Well, clearly, we're gonna go with Sawa. You were a smidge too late, good sir. <clears throat> okay then, let's go relax somewhere together. I hope we go to the spa. It would kind of be rude to Shin to go somewhere alone with Tomo, even though his hair is just fabulous. But let's hang out with Sawa today. I agree, Orion. I don't really understand her, her mouth right there, but... Whatever. <laughs> you took me to my house? Sawa, you said we were gonna go have tea. <laughs> you lied. I see. So, you really still can't contact Shin? That's super troubling. He's not the type that would try to make you worry about him. He might just be really busy, or actually doing just fine, right? I've only known you two since high school, so I'm not sure how things were between you before. If you've known each other for a long time, I understand if you guys were a little careless about responding back right away. But oh, right. Whatever happened with that one thing, you know, the fact that Shin won't hold hands with you? Uh, what, what's all this noise? You were complaining about that when you just started dating. He never had a problem kissing you, though. <laughs> Her face is priceless. But when you asked him to hold your hand, he would get all embarrassed and avoid it for some reason. I don't know. That kind of sounds more like teasing. Is he still like that? Or did he give up on that already? Sleep. I would assume he's just that type of guy. You know. Oh, so he really won't compromise? I knew it. Ugh, I'm jealous. If I was with all of you two when I were a kid, I wonder if things would have turned out different. Wait. No. I'm sure things still probably would have ended up the same. Huh? Sawa? Sorry, it was nothing. It'd be nice if Shin came back quickly, though. She is hiding something from us. Then I'd be able to stop thinking about him and move on. Why are you thinking about my... Okay. I know you're my best friend. But, uh... We're about to be done so. <laughs> they ended without any sort of progress. Shen had prep school today, right? He said they'd let him go to school, but does he even have time to study? I know you're feeling down, but try not to get too depressed, Yuki. Oh, he's calling us. Yes, answer. A call from Shin? This is a first, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's why we're answering. It's me. You doing alright? Sorry I couldn't contact you. I messaged you about what's been going on. I was kind of tired. I really wanted to see you, but... I shouldn't say that now. Well, you see, the reason I called you is... Don't, don't you even say that. The thing is... The thing I said before about us going out... I think I should take that back. 
I'll stop. It'll just cause you trouble. Just like how my dad killed someone and I got prosecuted too. If I'm treated like a killer, things might be harder for you. You don't even remember liking me, right? It's fine. You don't need to force yourself to remember. This might be more convenient. It's okay to go and fall in love with someone else. Uh, no. It is not okay for us to love someone else. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, this is not like you at all. That's right, this isn't like him. If he's suspected of this, he just has to show he's innocent, right? I see. It's not like me. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for saying something so pathetic. I'll always look... <laughs> I always want to look cool in front of you. I, I know, Shin. I know. But I'm serious when I say it's okay for us to break up. If it gets too painful for you, just go ahead. Things have been pretty rough, but I've been looking into things and asking questions. Don't worry too much over me. I'll just stress out. It'll just stress out Tomo and Sawa. See you later. He hung up. He seemed really tired, didn't he? No wonder he's been looking into things. This boy better want to frickin' date us. I swear to God. Trying to please fake characters is so demanding. Ah, this is Sachi University. Kent should be in the math lab here today, right? Apparently, he's the one directing everyone that night of your accident, and he's also the one who found you collapsed. You should be able to hear a lot of the details from him. No need to specifically ask him about everything, so let's go. Oh, well. Um, I know who we're dating next. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I'm another one. I've already decided who I'm dating. <laughs> I'm the worst. This looks like the math lab. There are two men in here. I don't know what your voices are going to be. Oh, it's you. I was waiting. Huh? Waiting? Um, the fact that he knows you must mean this is either Ken or Inky, right? Hmm. How unexpected. A girl in bandages is actually very sexy. I just want to unwrap them. You, sir! No. <laughs> just no. <laughs> you you can't go around telling that to people. <laughs> Are you only capable of seeing women in that way? Well, what else am I supposed to think when a cute girl appears in front of me? To keep it in your pants? Um, this could actually be super dangerous. We should probably leave. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? Don't worry. Inky, is that his name? Inkyo? Ikio? Ikio? I don't know what your real name is. Inky is ridiculous jokes. He's all talk and no action. Don't even acknowledge the last thing he said. More importantly, you have some business with us, right? Oh, sorry. Did you take that seriously? Don't worry too much over it. I won't bite. Um, without your consent. With our consent? <laughs> so what do you need? We heard from Rika that you were investigating that night. <sighs> Rika, that super elegant girl from yesterday? Man, I knew she would blab. The fact that they heard from her means that these two are either Inky and Kent. This womanizer must be the one they call Inky, and the other one means he's Inky. Wait, that made no sense. What? I don't know. He's Inky. He's Kent. 
Which means the smart looking guys can't remember that. Even though we were just confused a few seconds ago. Sounds like Rika knows these two pretty well. I wonder if they're friends. Let's see. What should we ask first? Um, I heard you lured. I heard you lured the search. I heard you rescued me. Uh, yes. Inky and I went to the place and had the highest probability that you might be there. The other, were, the others were guy girl pairs, so we figured that it would be best if we found you. What does that even mean? After receiving the request from Shin to search for you, the first thing we did was illuminate the entire facility. We figured if you were conscious that you would head towards the light. After that, we checked the map and calculated the places you could have fallen. That included both places where you may have landed, the places you could have moved towards on your own. I had the owner who knew the facility best, Rika paired up and looked around the lodge. Yukio and mine lacked both mobility and strength, so I had them check if you would return to the top of the cliff. Since Inky and I had your fallen trajectory, we started at the bottom and worked our way up to the possible landing sites. In other words, we took charge of the most possible routes. The others had to take care of the less possible routes. Okay, they had me lost in all the details, but you get the general idea, right? It, it sounds like they were able to find you so quickly because they gave good directions to the others and considered all of the possibilities. Anyway, that's about all we know. Is there anything else you'd like to ask? Mm, I guess the next question would be... Is it true that Shin's data was that conscious when I found when you found me? Hmm. Uh oh, huh? Why are they so quiet? Is this some sort of riddle? Shin asked us the same thing the other day. Shin too? What day? When? The other day. Orion. I think he called Inky and me the day before yesterday. He asked me the same question as you did. The answer is no. You didn't respond. Even when we called your name and patted your cheek. If that was just an act, then I highly recommend that you become an actress. You were unconscious, so that really was true. But I wonder why Shin called them to ask the same thing. Shin had fallen out of contact up until the day before yesterday. Is he trying to investigate that memory? The only people who saw you at the time of discovery was us. So I guess there's a possibility that we're lying. Anyways, Kent and I talked about it at- oh, sorry, I thought that was me. <laughs> anyway, Kent and I talked it over afterwards. We figured if he was asking a question like that, then someone must have told him that you were conscious. Could it have been you? Hmm. Does it kind of seem like they're suspecting you now? Uh, were we any help? I don't know what's going on, but it seems like you're bringing up some interesting new developments. If there's anything else that we can help you with, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to hear the results of this, too. I look forward to seeing you again in the near future. Well, as do I, young lady, of course. At the least, at the very least, it seems like no one so far has said anything contradictory. You fell off the cliff by accident, and Shin asked everyone at the lodge to search for you. And then you were found by Inky and Kent. All of this is consistent, yet one memory of yours is strangely inconsistent. We need to check our parameters. Okay, 
Okay, so we really love him. St I don't think the suspicion gauge is ever going to go down. But our trust from him isn't so large. Oh no. Welcome back, Master. May I take your order? Have a good day, Madam. We'll be awaiting your return. I know you don't really feel like lavishing grace upon strangers at a time like this, but there's nothing you can do right now, and it's important to do your job. Oh, another customer. Go, Yuki. Welcome. Welcome back. <sighs> well, that's it for today. We should put our thoughts in order first. We've managed to talk to almost everyone involved, but the last person is a bit of a problem. Yikio, self-proclaimed photographer, has no address. What does that mean? No address. You shouldn't let such suspicious persons stay here with your employees, Mr. Owner. You'd like to ask him some questions too, but... Put the paper on... But the paper that you got from the owner says home phone number. None. And it doesn't even have a cell number listed either. But I doubt the owner would let someone with both no available contact information stay over, so he might be able to contact them himself. Maybe it would be best to ask the owner about this, in addition to some other things. Oh, Yuki, what's that serious look on your face in the middle of the cafe? Oh, it's the manager. Great timing. Boop. When will the owner come and visit? Hmm, I don't know. He's a very cupturous person, so I don't know when he'll come. If you have some business with him, I could tell him if you'd like. No, I think it's something you need to talk directly to the source about. In any case, what's going on here? Shen asked me the same thing before. He's trying to find a way to contact the owner as well. Wait, Shen too? What are you two doing? Are you planning something strange, are you? No, we're not. We're, to we're totally not. If this is about the incident when you were injured, you should leave that to the police. Anyway, I can't divulge the owner's personal contact information, so please go home for today. <sighs> well, I guess it's no good. Hmm, if Shin's been investigating this, you probably should contact him instead of the owner. It's possible that he's been able to move more freely than we thought, and he just might and he just might have not told you about it yet. If that's the case, then you should work together with Shin for this. That would be faster and safer too. Maybe you should let him know. Oh, how about messaging him? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Now just to wait for a response. Ten minutes later. <sighs> He's not responding. Maybe he really can't do anything he wants. It's just been ten minutes. Am I the only one who doesn't get freaked out if a person doesn't... Like, oh, you're not immediately texting me back. You must... Something horrible must have happened. Like... Uh, a raptor must have came and stolen your phone. That's why you're not texting me, right? Jeez. Hmm, you still haven't changed. I'll walk you home after I'm done. Oh, Tomo, I had the same idea again! I was just thinking of walking you home today. I want to go with Tomo, because she is being suspicious. Hmm, again. What do you do? What will you do? Go with Sawa. Okay, then I'll get changed quickly. I'll be waiting here. I, w I need to know more about her. I 
I see. So you still can't contact Jen? I thought he would at least be contacting you a little, but I guess he can't do that. What about an email? Messages? All the messages I send don't get replied to, but I figured he might respond to you. Well, you probably tried that, and things are still the way they are. Sorry about that. You know, ever since we've met, I've always seen you and Shin together. That's just normal. Now that we don't even know where he is, I feel worried. Sorry, I'm sure you're more worried. There's not much point for me getting so anxious about it. Sheesh. He's such a mean guy, but not having him around feels sad. What a strange feeling. Oh, I don't mean that I like Shin or anything. Like that, you know? Yeah, I think that's exactly what you mean, actually. And even if I did like him, it's not like you'd have it's not like I'd have a chance anyway. I knew it. I knew it. Oh Ryan, we're rewriting I knew she had a crush on him. Hmm. Sawa, you didn't just come here to find out some information about Shin, did you? I've just got to be overthinking it. No, you're not over right. You're if you like him, then tell him, okay? I... Hold on. We're gonna do both. <laughs> what would be the point in that? You wouldn't be able to do anything about it either. Uh, I'm overthinking this, right? I'm on to her. I know she likes him. Sorry. Got a load. Is it this one? I think it was this one. Big contacts. I'll let you know if he contacts me. Okay. Thanks for that. Hmm. I'm overthinking this, right? Okay, we get the same context. But let's check our parameters after this. To see which goes up. Cause if I feel if we tell her that we we'll be like, yeah, go tell him. We're like, hey, we're over him. You don't say that to girls. I mean, unless you're just being overly cocky. Like, he's mine. Go ahead and tell him. He ain't gonna do nothing. I mean, everything seems the same. I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's been a week since... It's been a week since the police took Shin away. Seems like the investigation of the accident is at a standstill. Unless your memories come back. And just walking around the house like this doesn't seem to be bringing any of them back. Ordinary day-to-day -day life might not just be stimulating enough anymore. Hmm, I guess you should go home for now. Just wandering around alone won't accomplish anything. What? Oh, welcome back. Where were you? That's our line. We should be saying welcome back to you. And where were, where were you? Well, it seems like the police are tired of calling me down to the station, so I've got some free time. Mind if I stay here for a while? Do we? Hey, come over here. Oh, We still need a new hat. <laughs> Ugh, I'm tired. Let me stay like this for a while. Just for a while. You're really comforting. You're really warm. I feel like I'm holding a puppy. You're soft, and this feels nice. I feel like I'd break you if I held you too tightly. You are really soft. It's relaxing. Yuki, this is really you, right? 
I'm really holding on to you, right? This is the first time I've been apart from you for so long. So I'm kind of confused. I really wanted to see you too. What's that? You've learned to say some cute things. Looks like leaving you here lonely wasn't all for nothing. Just kidding. Seriously, I'm sorry. I wasn't joking. I didn't do this on purpose. Thanks. I'm fine now. Anyway, you mind if I come in? We can't really talk here. Sure, boy do I have some things to tell you, Shen. Sawa is apparently super into you. There's something I've been investigating, and I overheard some of the police were talking about it too. I heard you were investigating this too? Inky told me when I contacted him. Mind if I listen to what you have to say first? Why does he seem almost like he's putting you to work? Well, whatever. Let's see. The things you've investigated and your guesses from that were... <laughs> I don't think we did a good job. What? That's it? I had a lot of constraints on my time and I still managed to find out more. What's with him? He was just acting so weak a minute ago and now he's already over it. Anyway, here. Yukio, Inky, Kent, and oh, and Rinka's phone numbers? You should save them. What? How do you know all of this? Why are you so surprised? You didn't even think I'd ask Inky and the others for their phone numbers? So, that's really what you did. Also, I can't tell you, but I know the owner's contact info. What did he just say? I got it from Waka. I told him that something belonged to the owner ended up in my luggage when we stayed at the mountain lodge. I said it was somewhat of a private matter, and he actually gave it to me pretty easily. I don't think... I lie like that is the best way of getting things done. Man, don't ask her. She's honest. Unlike someone. <laughs> unlike someone like you who can lie as easily as breathing. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. Anyway, I made some arrangements with the owner. Something should happen tomorrow that you can look forward to. Look forward to? The real issue was the police. They wouldn't divulge the information I wanted so easily, so it took a fair amount of effort. Not only am I the son of a killer, but it was also the second time I was brought in. They don't trust me at all. These people are pretty sly too, so it's just a constant mental warfare. It really was tough trying to get them to say what I wanted, while trying to avoid saying what I, they wanted at the same time. But, that's enough grumbling for now. Thanks to my persistence, I found out why they were so suspicious of me. They found a clue. So, you managed to get them to tell you? That's why you must... That's why it must have took so much time. This wasn't the police's doing, this was Shin's doing. Boop! Well, you know what? I was waiting for you to come back. If I did that, we would have never gotten to the bottom of this, right? I do think I went through so much suffering. Use your head. You don't have to go that far. She was really worried about you. And just so you know, I didn't push you or anything. If you don't believe that, I won't be able to do anything. I want to believe it, but... You've heard some of the bad No! No! We want you to- We just wanted you to know that we missed you! Cheese! What kind of clue? 
Well, it's a secret, actually. It'll be annoying trying to explain it, so I'll just show you. What? Show her? What? Don't the police have the evidence? How do you show her? That's why I said to look forward to tomorrow. Yeah, we don't want to be any suspicious. We don't want to be suspicious of them. Just so you know, I didn't push you or anything. If you don't believe that, you won't be able to do anything. You want to believe it, but you've heard some of the bad rumors, too. Do you have... Do those have any truth to them? Absolutely not. Okay, I believe you. I heard we weren't getting along at the time. Of course I believe you. Why do we have to have dots? Why does it sound like you're not so sure? Seriously, you need to believe it. We're not going to get anywhere. Anyway... In that case, there's a culprit out there who isn't me. What, a culprit? According to everything I've heard, all signs point to the one existing. But it's not me, so it definitely has to be someone else. I want to find out who it is. In fact, I already have an idea of who it is. What? So do we. But I have nothing to prove that they did it. That's what I need. I was going to start working to gather evidence, and I want you to help. Just because no matter how far off my prediction might be, there's zero chance that you're the culprit. Well, that's obviously true, but who is this culprit? Wasn't this all just an accident? Does this mean that there's something suspicious about that night, besides the fact that you just fell off the cliff? And could it be that something... And could this have something to do with that contradictory memory that you have? Don't worry. I'll protect you. I don't want to see you hurt again, no matter who it is. And to do that first, the owner needs to make a move. What? That's Yes, that's a correct face, I'd say. That's about how I feel. 